I saw the porches floating away first of all. I saw that. But I didn't think it was going to get that bad. And then all at once it started coming in the house. So I told my, my wife, I said, we need to go. So by the time we got out, the water was up to our knees. We got ready to step out of the trailer. There was no steps. We stepped down in the rapid water about this deep. And I can't swim. She can, I can. So I asked, I said, can you save me if I start, you know, because it was, it was rapid. If you go by Nolensville, you'll see just how the current, how the water was moving. It tore fences. Rod iron Rod fences iron that fences have been now. in the fairgrounds for yeah. 20 years. They're and, flattened. Uh, there's 10 of us or 12. We had to hold hands. Everybody held each other's hand. And, and, and we, walked. we had to rescue a guy in a wheelchair. Couldn't walk. That's a quad we had to carry him across on our back. You know, and I can't swim, man, you know. And that, every time I would raise my foot to step, I could feel myself floating in the moon, you know. And, uh, but we had about five minutes to prepare to take what we, which we couldn't take anything. We, we, we had couldn't to get water. nothing. We, so we put cell phones and IDs and Ziploc baggies and the clothes on our back. And, and that was it, you know. And, and, you know, it was devastating. I mean, you know, I'm 50, uh, 